is sunny. I'm in a good mood today, probably because the sun's out, even though it's still so cold. Also because I've just finished a commission that I spent the last week working on. So today I can start a new painting and it's actually gonna be a master study of a sergeant painting. So I had a comment asking if I could do this painting as they're working on it themselves and it would be helpful to see someone else give it a go. And I love the painting personally, so I was excited to do it. So I've done a sketch of this exact painting before, which I'm gonna try and find to show you. This might take a while, so I'm gonna stop the recording. So like I said, it's a sergeant painting of Albert de Belleroche. So I did this sketch from a book that I have on Sarge, this amazing collection of his early works. I don't have it in colour in the book, so my first task is to try and find a high quality photo of it online in colour. And I have just realised that I've never actually done a Sargent master copy in oil paint. I've only ever sketched it. I think that's because, in my opinion, he's the greatest portrait painter of all time. So that's very um, intimidating and daunting. This piece, to me, it's more like a sketch. It's very sketchily painted. I don't know if, I don't know if that's going to make it easier, actually. But I think it'll be fun to do. So I found two images. The first one, this is from the official gallery where the painting actually is. It's in Colorado Springs Art Center or something. But you have to pay a membership in order to download it in the highest quality. So this is like not, it's kind of pixelated, it's not that good. And the red background is really intense, um, but all the other photos that I've seen of it, I mean, yeah, this is, this is more red, right? So I don't know what's truer to life. If anyone's in Colorado and wants to pop over to the gallery to let me know, that would be great. I think this was just from Pinterest and the quality is better. The dimensions are 67.3 centimeters times 48.3. That is roughly the same as nine by 12 inches. I was wanting to paint a little bigger than that. I think 16 by 20, which is, okay, this size is 16 by 20, but I only have that in paper. I don't have a panel. This is nine by 12. Problem is, is that with paper, I can't achieve that brush stroke effect because this is just so absorbent. It just, it doesn't glide over and you can like see the bristles which that painting the whole background is painted like that so I think it's going to have to be panel in which case it's going to have to be smaller. I'm starting with the background and I'm using a mixture of transparent oxide red and cadmium red with a lot of thinner and I'm focusing on achieving those really visible brush marks. I'm then adding in ivory black and ultramarine blue and I'm blocking in those big dark shapes. Being really careful with my placement of the shapes but also keeping my brush marks loose at this point. To keep the colour mixing as simple as possible I went for the limited Zorn palette which is yellow ochre, cadmium red, ivory black and titanium white. I also added in ultramarine blue because I thought that would help in the the jacket and the hat to give the black a bit more depth. So I did some research into this painting and I'd just like to share some of the parts that I found interesting about it. So it was painted in 1883 and it's a portrait of Albert de Belleroche who was Sargent's friend and studio mate in Paris and London. But he was also allegedly Sargent's lover and this painting remained in Sargent's possession all of his life. They made many paintings of each other. And I've written down a quote from art historian Dorothy Moss, 
who said that Sargent's portraits of Belaroche in their sensuality and intensity of emotion push the boundaries of what was considered appropriate interaction between men at this period. And in my book, it talks about how this painting came about. It says, the sketch is very much a product of the studio, a dramatic and improvised sketch of a fellow artist in studio props. It is said that Belaroche came into Sargent's studio, picked up the hat and put it on his head. Whereupon Sargent said, I must paint you like that. Thank <laughs> you. 